All right, how's everybody doing? Well, I got this package here from uh, Italy. It's got this Italian writing on it here for Jilly. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but um, I know it's some sort of Italian word. Um, let me open this box up here and see what it's got in it. Well, it's my SOG uh, seal pup. I love that knife. I've had that for a long time. That's a nice knife. So, what we've got here, this is a Keystone Sporting Arms Ruger 1022 Bull Barrel, 18 inch fluted threaded stainless steel. And I ordered this off of uh, eBay. Mike stocks here so uh, you know anyways that's where I got it from let me open this puppy up and take a look at it here well finally finally got it open Let's see what we got here it's a heavy one. Oh yeah there we go that say 416 stainless all right and there's this says uh, keystone sporting arms or is it is it keystone I don't know anyways they make the cricket uh, rifles but it's uh, 22 LR only so they say the chamber on this is a uh, really should be a nice tight chamber you're not supposed to use uh, stingers or stangers and here's the threaded barrel this is really the only this is really one of the main reasons I got it was a threaded barrel you know so I could uh, shoot it with a with a suppressor on it because um, I wanted a 1022 with a threaded barrel a 1022 that I have it's only one I've only got one I've had it for a while. I've got this uh, Blackhawk um, stock that I put on here right after I got it. And uh, mainly the reason I got this was so my kids could shoot it, you know, have a really nice short length of pull, you know, when my kids were little so they could shoot it. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's okay stock, I guess. Um, I've got the uh, CV Life uh, scope on here, which honestly, it's not the best. I mean, they're, I think when I got this thing, they were like in the $30 range. I think now they're like in the $50 range. I, I, I don't know, to me, you could probably find something a little bit better for maybe a little bit more money, $60, $70. You could probably find something pretty, pretty decent besides that. But that's what I got on here. And then, of course, um, you know this stock it's made for a you know a bull barrel um, but I've still just got the regular you know uh, stock barrel that came with it on here so I figured I'd get a new barrel for it a threaded barrel and uh, try it out so that's the one I got so I'm gonna get that uh, barrel put on this gun and um, you know I've got some groups that I've shot you know maybe two years ago two or three years ago I did like a 22 LR challenge and I really haven't changed the rifle setup any since then so um, you know it'll be interesting to compare you know the ammo and the groups and stuff I got with that compared to this new barrel to see if it's any better so anyways let me see if I can get this thing taken apart and uh, get this new barrel put on here all right, well, I'm out here. I just did some uh, test shots. Everything looks good. I got a steel plate down there at 100 yards. It was child's play. I mean, I was nailing it every time. So I think I shot about 50 or 60 of these through there. Um, you know, and then I went in and uh, cleaned it up a little bit, ran a boar snake through it a few times, uh, you know, cleaned the barrel out. And now I'm gonna try to shoot some groups. Um, got a few little different kinds of ammo here and uh, shoot a few groups and then maybe shoot a little bit of suppressed and then uh, just try it out but so far it's been it's just been tons of fun it's an excellent gun uh, with this Caldwell rest I mean literally it was child's play hitting this plate down here so I'll see what kind of groups it gives me
just wrapped up uh, shooting with this and I gotta tell you the Keystone Arms barrel I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with it um, as I tried to mention earlier in the video uh, this is just a 1022 I bought for my kids about 10 or 12 years ago probably to shoot and then after I got it it was literally like it's just a $200 synthetic stock I ordered this Blackhawk stock to put on here basically just to give them a shorter length of pull and it's honestly the stock is not in my opinion that that great but um, that's really the only reason I got it uh, other than that I didn't do anything to the gun uh, from when I shot it previously it has the same scope on it the CV life uh, scope uh, same mount everything uh, the I'm trying to think there's nothing the trigger it's just the stock trigger I haven't put any type of replacement trigger I haven't done anything at all to the trigger the trigger in this is bone stock and still pretty terrible in my opinion um, but the barrel is, is something else I mean I'm thoroughly impressed with this Keystone Arms barrel um, you know I was looking at them almost bought two or three different ones uh, you know, honestly, I was looking at Midway, Brownells, just different places for the last couple months. And if they would have had something in stock, I probably would have bought it instead of this. Um, but, uh, you know, I was looking at Faxon, looking at different ones. And, I mean, it's anywhere from, you know, 230 up to, like, $300. And this one actually came in. This is an 18-inch fluted. Ordered it off of eBay uh, with tax. I think it was, like, $190. So, you know, it wasn't. I mean obviously the cheapest thing in the world still but compared to the other barrels I was looking at this was probably you know the cheapest option and uh, you know it's the heavy barrel 920 heavy barrel fluted stainless steel so you know I've, I've been thoroughly impressed with uh, the groups I shot with this gun so speaking of the groups let's zoom into the targets I'll show you some of the targets that I shot it's been a little over two years ago for a uh, it's the Mr. Revolver guy challenge uh, I shot that just with the bone stock barrel and uh, really I've never been able to shoot this gun really well um, I never had really great groups with it uh, but you know this this barrel definitely made a huge difference so let's zoom in and take a look at that alright well, let's start looking at this first target here and this is with the uh, Winchester uh, just the bulk M22 this is what I was shooting just to get the scope zeroed in and get the barrel kinda broken in a little bit I guess to say um, and uh, you know after I kind of got the the scope a little bit where I wanted it I mean I had a shot here and here and then I kind of got it to where I wanted it I can't remember if I adjusted any of these or if I was just shooting I'm not really for sure but I went ahead and threw this in there anyway because it's one two three four there's six shots right there and uh, that's a point seven one nine five which is honestly better than any group I've ever shot with the stock barrel so that's just right off the bat the next uh, group I've got here this is the gym tech uh, which is what I like really like shooting I, I bought several bricks of this a couple years ago when uh, you know it was still pretty cheap and plentiful uh, for my suppressor and it, it's you know shoot in pistols shoot it in a, the rifle it's always shot well never had any trouble any malfunctions anything with it and uh, shot a five shot group here and uh, measuring that it's a uh, 0 0.6230 so that's good I've, I've never shot that good of a group uh, with that I mean it is better shooting ammo but not not quite that good and then this is the uh, Aguila I just picked this up uh, recently um, it's a subsonic uh, hollow point the guy down at the gun store said he took some of this out shooting and had pretty good pretty good luck with it so I thought I'd try you know pick some of that up to try it out and uh, it shot really well actually I don't know which uh, and I actually though it did it did jam now I'm thinking back about it. it I did get a jam with this I had to clear the gun I can't remember if I shot three shots and it jammed on the fourth one I think and then I had to clear it and do two more so I'm not really sure how these shots uh, broke out but I mean those four shots right there I mean that's uh, can you even see that I mean that's like crazy there's four shots right there and basically one hole then I had one over here in the bullseye you know if I if I hadn't if I hadn't hit the bullseye there I would have had like a really awesome group probably like point you know two eight or point three inches but as it uh, as it was uh, with that uh, bullseye there I had point five five six zero so 
you know we're getting down to a half an inch at uh, 50 yards then the last group I was going to show and this is the the ammo that shot the best for me uh, the first time and it's actually pistol match ammo is uh, what it says I mean I got it for shooting in pistols but I thought well heck you know might as well uh, and I don't know I've had this for a, a while so it's you know you can see 399 but um, that that stuff shoots really good as you can see I mean I, I thought it was about a half an inch and measure it come in just a little less than a half an inch so a little less than a half an inch group and I've never shot that that well um, actually here's some targets I had from you know a couple years ago and I mean you, you can see I mean there's one that's like two inch group uh, this is uh, a Gila another Gila at 1.295 and this is with the same rifle same scope everything there's a federal uh, which that stuff didn't shoot very good for me in this gun either but um, you know it's well over it's an inch and a half group right there and then the best group I shot um, you know was with this this pistol match ammo but it was still uh, you know 0.877 so basically by swapping the barrel out I got you know I mean half you cut the accuracy cut the group in half literally I went from 0.8775 to 0.485 so just you know swapping that barrel out with the same trigger same scope same everything just only swapping the barrel out it got me uh, you know down to less than a half an inch I cut my group literally in half so like there again I, I just can't say um, I really wasn't expecting that I mean I was hoping I could get to half an inch maybe 0.6 you know inch groups um, and you know the more I get the barrel broke in the more I shoot with it and then it, maybe I'll get a decent trigger I mean I just literally haven't put a whole lot of money into this gun you know until now with the barrel so uh, you know I, I may I may get a decent trigger for it um, you know to see what I can do with it but you know for right now I'm I'm really pretty impressed with that and like I said I was really just kind of wanting a barrel a threaded barrel so I could run my suppressor you know on it and you know it would just be really quiet um, not that you know the 22 is pretty quiet anyway but just to be you know super quiet just to run a suppressor just a plink and whatever and uh, you know the added surprise it looks like that barrel at least the one I got you know is, is holding some really nice groups here with uh, all different types of ammo bulk ammo you know that I've shot and, and whatever um, and I'm definitely gonna take this gun out and do some more shooting with it but uh, you know right now this is just kind of my first little uh, break in first little shooting with it so anyways I think that's about all I got uh, really appreciate everybody watching the videos I really appreciate all the feedback and uh, hope everybody's doing well and thanks for watching and I'll probably roll in some 22 ammo, suppressed uh, ammo, you know, here at the end. I'll just, I'll just go out on shooting some of that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Y'all have a good one.